What's going on guys? It's Jay. Welcome back. Alright, so one video that I've been wanting to do for a little minute now. I just kind of keep forgetting to do it. I'm running late. And I'm honestly kind of running late right now. So you get a pretty good experience. Is how is the FZ07 on the highway? Like can it do highway speeds? Does it have enough passing power? How's the wind? You know, just everything overall that relates to riding on the highway and whatnot. And like I said, I'm running a little bit late today, so you're gonna see some faster speeds. So-so. And we'll see what happens. passing power definitely not so but honestly guys I see a lot of people complain about naked bikes on the highway and I get where you're coming from you know they can be pretty uncomfortable what did I do with my phone I really hope I didn't leave my phone at the house anyways they can be kind of uncomfortable sometimes you know it, it gets pretty windy out here but overall you know the winds not that terribly bad I mean granted I do have a windscreen on here so that makes it different. That makes a huge difference. Without the windscreen, if I was going like around these speeds, you know, I would, I would definitely be feeling it pretty, like the wind blast, pretty hard on my chest. But now with this on, I can kind of feel it, like honestly, like right where the GoPro is on my helmet. I can feel it pretty good, like right there. I can feel it on like the top of my head and everything. My shoulders, I suppose. You know, the windshield doesn't really do much for that. I do get a good amount of... Ah, I do get a good amount of blast on my shoulders. And then with the wider bars that I just put on, I've noticed that uh, they do catch a little bit more wind. So it does kind of get a little unstable faster. So I try not to, you know, go too stupid, stupid fast. Like I used to be able to. But you know, that's nothing, that's only around like 120-ish, somewhere around there. Ah, nope, can't make that one. As far as like overall just comfortability, you know, just sitting on the thing for a prolonged period of time, I think it's great. You know, with the with the new bars on, it's a little different. You know, I am leaned forward just a little bit more, have a slightly more aggressive position. But other than that, you know, and that's not even bad. I'm still almost like completely upright. But just to give you a point of comparison, I'm about 5'8", five, 5'9", five, with my uh, shoes or boots on. Uh, not a very tall guy, but 5'8", five, 5'9", five, around 180 pounds. I don't know if the weight has anything to do with anything, but I'll throw it out there because I see everyone else do it. Um, inseam, I have no idea. Probably like 30, 31 inches, somewhere around there. So it's a pretty average sized person. Nothing crazy. But that's how I sit on the bike. You know, my knees aren't too bent. I'm not all hunched over and everything. I'm just kind of chilling, you know? I'm really comfortable and I, I can ride on this thing all day. Oh, wrong lane. Yeah, see, boom, passing power right there. Yeah, like I was saying, uh, knees aren't too bent. They're pretty comfortable. They're bent, but it's nothing crazy. It's not like these pegs are super sport style pegs and way up in the sky and everything then like I was saying 
and the bars are since they are wider they do catch a little bit more wind but I prefer them where they're at right now I feel like I have a little bit more control over the bike uh, I don't really split lanes anymore I <laughs> used to like whenever traffic would slow down I would slide in between everybody but I haven't done it since I swapped the bars out and I'm kind of concerned to with the bars being a little bit wider I don't want to like smack someone's mirror you know anyways I got a little sidetracked right there comfortability wise if that's how you say that word the seat is gonna be what causes a problem first like the stock Yamaha seat I do not have the comfort seat yeah this is just the stock seat um it's not bad i'll say once you get to about anything over maybe like an hour you're gonna start to feel it hey -o. but other than that i think this bike's awesome man it does great on the highway it's just never really caused any problems for me uh like i said once i swapped the bars over i did notice uh, once I got to, eh, I'll say like 85, 90 plus, just depending on the road and the wind conditions and everything, I do get a little bit more like wiggle in my bars. Um, I don't know if that's me being a bad rider. I don't know if that's a bad road. I don't know if it's just the bars unstabilizing things a little bit. I don't know. But I know it happens. So we'll see how that continues the thing. I don't, maybe like a steering stabilizer could fix that. Yeah, I don't know if you can put those on this. I would assume you could, but maybe like a stabilizer. I don't have any of the weighted bar ends. You know, that may be able to help a little bit, but to be honest, I'm just not sure. Oh, vibrations. That's a good one with the new bars and everything. Um, vibrations coming through the bars are, are not non-existent. Everything vibrates, but I can barely feel it. Uh, before I swapped them, I had a lot more vibration, so I can definitely notice a big difference in regards to that. You know, there was a lot of vibration after I took the, I don't know if they were stock or if they were aftermarket from the guy I got it from, uh, but they used that bar ends on them. So when I took those off the old bars, um, they did vibrate a lot. And that was, I noticed that really quick. But these ones, I don't know if it's the bars, I don't know if it's the grips I have on the bars, but they don't really vibrate that much, and I really appreciate that. Man, I picked a good day to record for y'all, it is, it's pretty windy today, like side to side wind and everything like that, what's it called, cross winds, there you go. Okay, so I don't know if y'all saw that little wiggle in the bars right there, but that's exactly what I was talking about. But at the end of the day, overall thoughts on the FC07, MT07 platform on the highway. In my opinion, if you are going to be putting down a lot of highway miles, a windscreen is pretty much a necessity. You need to have one if you want to be even remotely close to comfortable gets a whole lot of the wind off your chest and I mean the wind hitting your head you can deal with that but the wind on your chest is what you really need help with whenever I tuck down yeah it, it pretty much just goes right over my head I can't feel anything I mean I feel it on my arms at least but on my chest and head and face and everything uh, I don't feel anything comfort wise eh, I'll give it a solid I've never really rode anything more comfortable for the road glide so I guess that was pretty comfy but that was also really big I like moving at a bit of a quicker pace if you can't tell. Like I said earlier, my knees aren't crazy bent. You know, mom, not all hunched over and everything. I'm just, it's just comfortable, man. I like it overall. So, can that Z07 do highway riding? Absolutely. Plenty of power. It's comfortable. Just overall a good bike. And that is where I'm going to wrap everything up today, guys. Oh, one last thing. Uh, MBG. So it does decent on gas. I fill up once every couple days because I have a pretty decent drive to get to work and everything. 
Um, I normally fill up at around uh, 120 or so miles to the tank. So it can probably go farther. Like I could probably stretch it to uh, 140, probably 150 if I like really top it off all the way. But that's not really something that I want to test. I've gone to like 135, I think. Uh, like 135 miles before I had to fill up and that was because I was really pushing it. And that is the last thing. So guys, if you like what you saw today, go ahead and drop a like on this video. It'd be greatly appreciated. It helps out the channel a lot. If you want to see more, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and subscribe. I respond to every comment I get down there, even if it's kind of like hate mail or something like that. I had a few of those already. But I will respond to everything down there. But other than that, guys, I will catch you on the next one. Peace.